All glories to Lakshmi and Kuvera, the treasurer of the gods. Welcome, dear souls, to eight hour RSI divergence no loss strategy part one the new version the better upgraded version so before we start um let's have a look at the indicators um we have here in green on the top the money flow index mfi six periods um that's basically as a protection serves as a protection then we have in yellow the um RSI period 8, 8 period, and uh, Bollinger Band on the RSI, we have moving average on the RSI, and yeah, we have the zones here on the, you know, oversold and the bullish support zone, and the bearish resistance zone, and so on. Okay, then what we have on the chart here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. First of all, we have all these dots. This is support and resistance. Maybe not so important now, but sometimes I take it into consideration. Um, and then we have the super trend with this yellow line when it's positive, uh, buy and uh, blue when it's in a cell. And this is something old um then important we have also two moving averages actually three four but actually mainly relevant for this strategy is the the magenta one here this is the smooth moving average four and the very light one here that's the smooth moving average two this is the trigger signal okay and so when the super trend is bearish and the two crosses the four downwards basically this these dots down here they just show whether the, the the two and the four is crossed upwards or downwards so they have to be both um in the same direction the super trend and the smooth moving average and then there is also a bollinger band here and there is um uh, a certain moving average, but that is basically just for trading stop loss. Okay, so I think that's that's basically the components of the chart here, and I can quickly go over the strategy. So first of all, we need an RSI divergence. Um, it has to be above 70 for a sell and below 40 for a buy. Um, and then we need, of course, the super trend cross and the smooth moving average cross. And then we have to check that when, when it actually crosses, the money flow index is smaller than 74 a buy and greater, greater 44 a sell. And also the RSI shouldn't, should be smaller than 75 for a buy, ideally not uh, over 70 actually. And, uh, greater than 30 or 25, depending on what the money flow is doing. It sounds a little bit complicated, but actually it's not so difficult. So yeah, let's do a, a little bit of a of a replay, and then we will see more examples in the future. By the way, this is uh, in the second part of the video. This is the COVID drop, the final leg here. Okay, so... This is this candle. And now here we, we have a um, divergence on these two candles, which is, I don't know if it's really worth considering because it's just between two candles. But um, historically, we obviously know that it was a signal worth taking um, when, of course, these two cross. So let's go what happens. Let's see. When we get the cross, where is the super trend? By the way, super trend is already crossed, but the moving averages haven't crossed yet. Okay.
here is the cross and the money flow index is good RSI is good so we can take a long position here okay let's see what happens okay um, price goes up a bit um, where did we take the long we took it here so this is one thing that I haven't like completely um, thought through yet because this is a bit new is um, when to to set a stop into profit um, I had something previously about eight percent but I don't think we got eight percent here let me see how much we got at the oh yeah by the way we enter at the break of the candle top so this was the first place it was actually here we could have entered here at the break of this candle here I don't know why I spaced that out Wow, it looks less, but it's actually a lot. So, I don't know why this is sometimes happening. So, we enter actually here at the break of this candle. And so, the top was like 26%, which is quite okay. Um, so, yeah, we could, you know, put the stop into profit somewhere. Um, I would say here below the... Um, 13th moving average okay here yeah. we got stopped out here with this trade not so much gain actually I mean you know I would take some partial profits anyway on the way so I don't know why these things keep disappearing check anyway there it is Okay, so now we have to wait for, oh yeah, we have a bearish divergence here actually, which is pretty crazy with this top, which was here, which is much higher. And when we have a bearish divergence, and so we're waiting for the super trend cross. Let's see here, bearish divergence, pretty significant super trend cross and uh, but only the the lines cross here see that's that's when you get the actual confirmation is the break of this bottom here but the MFI is too low to sell so no sell there okay now there is no bullish divergence so there is no rebuy unless you wanted to you know say okay I'm going to keep my position at break even then you would still be in the trade from before which is obviously quite possible so I'm going a little bit fast um, you see I already went through it with the divergences here so we're soon getting a bullish divergence there there we get the bullish divergence with this point higher low on the price lower low on the RSI quite nice quite nice 25 around 24 something and yeah so now again uh, we have the cross of the smooth moving averages and we are waiting for the cross of the super trend which we pierced here but the price retraced below so this is the top of the candle if we break this then we will go long if other signals are okay but you see now even if it went up we couldn't have taken this because the moving uh, money flow index was too high and 
actually interesting yeah it actually went green here but we couldn't take it because the candle wasn't taken out and when the candle here it came down the money flow index okay now we still have that same level so we would go along here i would say everything everything looks good here right yeah did that candle take it take the top yeah this candle that's where we take our long position okay Then we get another uh, bullish divergence with this point here. So we could. That's great. So we could add to the position if we wanted when we get the cross here but point is money flow is too high i guess when the notice see it's coming down again so we're still having the old position and we're having again a bullish divergence here it's a lower it's a reversal divergence lower price same rsi again same game by the break of the candle top super trend went green cross is there okay so now we're again adding something to the position here or you know making a new position Money flow is resetting nicely here on a higher level. And there you go. So yeah, I don't want to make this part one too long. If there's any comments or questions, you're welcome. Um, so trailing stop loss I do with the super, uh, smooth moving average 13. Also, I take into consideration the support and resistance levels from the CPR. Um, and so on and so on. You see I have more things prepared here. But I think I'll keep that for a second video. If you have any comments or questions, you're most welcome. And yeah, there is there is more to it. You know, details about risk management, etc that I will discuss in the next version, next video. May the Om Love be with you. Jai Kuvera.